What's up guys, Best of Games here, and we're playing some cat lateral damage. Let's pick a kitty here. Miku Chirps Krogan Will Lin Catzilla. Okay, well I guess we're picking Catzilla. We're just gonna play for funsies here, we're not uh we're not going nuts. Let's play this one. So, the whole point of this game is your cat and what you're gonna do is you're going to smack everything off onto the floor because you're an angry cat or something. The little bit of text that showed up on the screen right before this was that your dinner was late, so I guess you're an angry cat, and you're not happy with your human because you're hungry, so you make a mess. And that's the whole point of this game, is literally you throw everything onto the floor. It's a very silly concept, I got it really cheap, it's on Steam. I can't tell you what the original price is. I can't even tell you how much I paid for it. I probably got it in a humble bundle, to be completely fair, because that's where a lot of my games on Steam are from. Because I don't have that much money, but... And also, there's nothing wrong with indie games. Yay! I got a new cat. Knocking down paintings of cats. Ah, uh, the box is if, when I'm done, I think. Yes, the box is for when I'm done. Knock this over? No? Okay. New upgrade! Give me that upgrade. Speed increased. Okay. I can't jump up there? Whoa, dude! Wow, you can't reach that. Can't knock it over either. I'm a little disheartened. Hold on. I was gonna say, you have to be able to knock over the sword, right? Huh. Okay. Goodbye, big vase. Yeah, I got a new cat too. Yeah, I did it. No, not cool. Why won't you fall? Yeah, I did it. Anyway, let's go explore the rest of this uh, area here. Got to knock down the sword. So if you see the little sparkles, it means that there's an upgrade somewhere involved with it. Oh, the upgrade went over here. Okay. Yay, more speed. Let's knock over the counter, all the computers and stuff. Like, really, you'd be pissed if you came home and your cat, like, literally destroyed everything. I mean, this isn't even a home, this is a business, so I don't know how this cat got here, but... Who really cares? I mean, it's fun. It's stupid fun. You sit here, you knock shit over. There's a score attack, which uh, we're not really going to go into too much. I mean, maybe I'll do a little bit. Alright, you get the picture there. Here's where you can knock down everything. There goes the scanner. There goes the computer. You can just bump your head into stuff too. It's you don't have to swipe your paw. It's just stupid fun. It's something dumb to play. 
if you got a couple minutes on your time, minutes on your hands, and you're just like, yeah, I just want to like knock stuff over and break stuff. It's a nice way to relieve some stress. And then you don't have to feel bad because you don't have to clean it up. Get over here. Knock down all these fancy eggs. Now, mind you, it doesn't actually count for this number over here on the top right hand side unless it hits the floor. So you can knock stuff off, but if it doesn't hit the floor, it don't count. So it means if it hits a chair, if it hits something else, none of that counts. Swipe right, left, and you can push. It's like a curious cat would. Just push. Push. You'd be like, ooh, what's this do? And then smack. More kitties. Give me that kitty. I unlocked Barry. Some other cat. Some other cat. Taffy. They don't make it very hard for you to just, you know, unlock the cats. Lilo and Benji, it's a photo. Oh, it's a town! I am Catzilla. Goodbye, town. Not even swiping my paw, just goodbye, town. If you look in the top right hand corner, you can see when stuff actually hits the ground and it counts. Like, it tallies up the amount of, like, each specific item that you've thrown on the ground. I followed this game years ago, like, when it was first, like, shown on, like, some news websites, some video game websites, and I was just like, oh, this looks like fun. Like, this looks like stupid fun that I want to play. And then it came out, and I totally forgot about it. And then I saw it, like, on sale, either Humble Bundle or whatever. And I was just like, yeah, man, here's my money. Just give me my money. Let me play as a cat. Wreck shit. Wow. Do I get to knock that over? Hold on. I'm knocking it over. Yo, it's going. The leg went down. What's this thing still standing, is my question. And that's like a legit question. How do I get the rest of it to come down? Do I knock over... Hold on. Ugh. It all came down! That was cool. I think for the intents and purposes, I think if this just falls, it counts. I don't think it has to hit the floor for this one. I'm not getting anything extra when it hits the floor, so I'm going to assume that just knocking it down is enough. Cool. Cool, cool. See, now this stuff has to hit the floor for it to get. That big ass thing? Uh, I guess they felt that was too mean. 
to, like, sit there and, like, smack it on the floor every, like, two seconds. Hit the floor. Where's my upgrade? Give me my upgrade. Ah, oh, I can jump higher. Cool. Still can't jump up here. Well, that's it. I'm gonna jump in this box here. And that's it. Complete. So, now that you guys have seen cat lateral damage, uh, I hope you guys go and actually just try and find this game really cheap and play it, because it's kind of fun. It's it's stupid fun. I wouldn't pay more than like five bucks for it, but yeah, if you can play it, give it a shot. It's fun. It's just dumb. It's dumb, stupid fun. There's nothing wrong with that. Anyway, peace out, guys.